Welcome to Bridgeway to History. I'm Michael Kanick. We're in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at the Bear Bryant Museum. Paul Bear Bryant was the legendary football coach of the University of Alabama Crimson Tide. Over 25 years, he coached the Tide to six national championships. When he retired after the 1982 season, he was the winningest college football coach of all time. But Bryant's legacy extends beyond his on-the-field success. He played a pivotal role in the racial integration of college football in the southern states. In the late 1960s, most university athletic programs outside the South were well down the road to integration. Bryant recognized that not having black athletes would compromise the Tide's ability to win. But the majority of the people in the South weren't ready for that change. So what did Bryant do? He scheduled one of the strongest racially integrated teams he could, the University of Southern California, and he scheduled to play them in Alabama. In September 1970, on primetime television, Southern Cal crushed Alabama 42 to 21, and all six touchdowns were scored by black athletes. This game, more than any other single event, accelerated the integration of college football in the South. So what's the strategic lesson for you, the organizational leader? Understand incentives and disincentives. Why people want to change and don't want to change. Bryant understood that for the majority of Alabama supporters, the desire to win was much greater than the desire not to have black players on the team. He just needed to create a forum where those two desires would be sharply contrasted. As a leader, you need to continually create change through people. Understand the psychological incentives and disincentives that lead them to support or resist change. Then manage those. Are you committed to winning? If so, then like the bear, understand incentives and disincentives.